Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So it's time to show you my Bugfest pickups. I'm sorry if I sound and look tired, I really am. All the adrenaline and excitement from Bugfest has finally faded and I have crashed. It was truly, truly an amazing event. So we'll start off with the boring, shall we? Cocoa Brick. The kind you hydrate, make your substrate. Pretty standard, right? And then moving on, I didn't get a lot of live stuff, so I'm sorry I haven't got too much exciting to show you, but I did pick up from the So Many Legs stand. I got myself uh, a second-hand Exoterra. I'll, I've been trying to upgrade my enclosures a bit more, although I'd rather have plastic than glass just because of the weight of glass. I do love an Exoterra and it's a little arboreal one and uh, I only got it for 20 quid. Not bad at all. Talking of enclosures, I went to another stall and I picked up this 8 inch cubed here from the custom aquarium make. Nice little cubed glass one, not too heavy, really really like it. And I got a third enclosure. And normally I go and get the train, but I got driven up um, by Kelly from Critters and Creations, so I was actually able to pick up enclosures at a show one, for once. Uh, this one here. Now this one will be doing a rehouse of my male LP, my Salmon Pink Bird Eater, to go into this enclosure here. We're going to be doing lots of changing rounds with the tarantulas, moving them into larger enclosures. I also got two baby huntsman slings. You may have seen this in other people's bug fest videos. So really, really hard to see. Not sure if it will focus, but it is just up on that leaf. And the other one, sorry, there's a load of glare on the screen. It's probably blurry too, but I'm not taking the lids off these. I, I fed them when I got home. My God, don't they teleport? They're like, I had one at the bottom here. I slightly cracked the lid and it was on the lid. There was literally no visible movement between being on the bottom and on the lid. So for tiny little slings, they are terrifying me. One is already on the lid now, running down the side. Maybe we'll get a better look. I don't know. We'll have a close up on these on another day. So I got them from Gav from Gav's Tarantulas and Al from Al's Arachnids. They actually drove up in front of me and Kelly to show us the way to Bugfest. So a big thank you to those guys there. What else did I get? Ah oh, yes, so many legs mug, where you get three slings inside for 15 pounds. Now, let's have a little look and see what we got in this mug. So within this tissue, there should be three slings. I actually got this mostly for the mug. I'm kind of steering away from slings, but I like to have company merchandise so last time I did a Portsmouth tarantulas box they had run out of wristbands there but I, I want a Portsmouth tarantula wristband as well I'd love to get something from the spider shop too like merchandise wise I just love it so we got in here oh new Bracky Bracky Palmer Amelia in here we got oh, I know nothing about these the O species Negros is it Orphanaceous species Negros I think, I think that's a uh, Asian fossorial. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I will just do my research on this. And the last one. Ah, oh, Haplopus species Columbia pumpkin patch. We got ourselves a little pumpkin patch sling. So that totaled up at 16 pounds. The mug cost me 15, but obviously I gained a mug on top as well, which must have cost them on top of that. So really, really happy with that. Fantastic. I know what I'm having my cup of tea in later. Now this box here, I have pre-opened it. I was gonna leave it for you guys, but I wanted to make sure everything was okay and I was excited to see what was inside. So a gentleman came up to me who runs Bugbox UK. I will put a link to Bugbox UK in the description below. Now he kindly gave me a gift. I had no idea what was gonna be in this gift. I told him to surprise me, um, but yeah, please go and check out his site and see what he's got. Let's have a look inside. Oh, cool. 
Well, first of all, I've got a note. So his name is Cameron. He runs Bugbox UK, so he's put that on there, and it reads, oh, wrong way. Dear Sam, I hope you enjoy the gifts from us. I have put a pack of curly wing flies in for you too. Brill, thanks man. These are great for mantises. Please enjoy the scratch cards. Oh, we got scratch cards, guys. Um, do not wash, just a quick scrub. Oh yes, yeah, that is this. So first of all, he got me one of these here. So I have more company merchandise. I love company merchandise. You know what, I'm probably not even gonna drink from this camera. I'm just gonna put this up on my shelves there as a remembrance of your kindness because I don't wanna get this ruined. And he's popped in for me. Tea. And coffee. What a true gent and a really lovely, lovely guy too. I've been chatting with him ever since he sent me this and the build up to Bugfest. Really, really lovely young man. So, I'm gonna pop that up here for the moment and I'll find a suitable place for it after the video. So what did he get me? He got me an H Spinifer Scorpling in here. I'm not sure where it's gone. I did see it when I opened it to check that everything was okay, so it is still in here. I think I might have disturbed it when I moved the box to the camera. Tell you what, we'll have a look at the end of this video at everything that I picked up today, even if I managed to capture some footage of the slings as well. So thank you very much, buddy, for that. A pre-pack of curly wing flies. Scratch card. You know what? Let's do the scratch card now. So his company do provide scratch cards. If he's got surplus of them, they are two pounds each to buy on his site, or I do believe you get them with your purchases as well. Let's have a scratch and see what I want. Ah, oh, sweet. I do believe they'll also win every time, guys, so it's really worth purchasing from Bugbox UK just to see what you get on the scratch card, right? So I want free £5 website credit. Try that again, shall we? I want free £5 website credit with a specific code. I'm going to cover that code for you guys because I know what some of you are like out there and you're going to rob me just to laugh at me behind my back. No, I'm only joking. But there we are. There I have it. So massive, massive thank you to him. What else did I pick up? Ah yes, onto the exciting stuff. So I got myself the Avicularia species Quitara, if I pronounced that right. Lovely, lovely size. I'm sorry about the, the light gonna be glaring on there. So this was 30 pounds, the giant pink toe. Now I don't actually own an AVIC. I've always wanted to own an AVIC. And um, I was really gutted, although they're not avicularia anymore. I know what Kelly had Carabina Versicolor. I was so jealous that I wanted something, either one of those myself or an AVIC. So I'm really happy I picked this up. Now, I went with really, really short funds, but luckily, I had this uh, on. All signed off, so I can't reuse it. This was a Spider Shop gift certificate. Now, this was bought for me ages ago, but I was just waiting for the right moment to use it, and this was purchased from one of my subscribers, Nadine. Now, I know that Nadine follows a lot of the Tarantula YouTube community. Massive, massive thank you to you. This was fantastic. So, out of the kindness of her heart, got me 15 pounds, and it said 15 pounds of awesomeness on here. And it said, uh, this is a little attention for you because of the way you are. Stay true to yourself, you are a great person. Best regards, Nadine. So, without you, I wouldn't have been able to afford that AVIX. So, massive, massive thank you. I'm gonna keep this as a momentum of your kindness. Last but not least, my absolute favourite invertebrate that I have ever owned in my collection, bought at the BTS, died just before maturity, absolutely gutted, 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 but I found some more. Those of you that watch my channel for the stick insects, da-da, here we go. Like I said, we'll have close-ups on everything in snippets at the end of this video. So these were the Phryganistra Hoisi Yentuensis. Do you remember everyone was making a joke because I mentioned I had a secret stick insect? 
ha 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 and it was those really really tall ones and I did a video where the female had a missing limb and I showed the sheer size of these now they can actually grow with legs stretched out to be almost half a meter in length these are just little nymphs but I have six in here and I only had three when I went to the BTS and I've been looking for them ever since since I lost my only female I was so so gutted because basically because they couldn't breed I only had males left so really really happy that I managed to pick these up and I tell you what if I find any more at future shows I'm gonna keep picking them up until I get them absolutely right because oh they are they're just really my my favorite invert I've ever owned to this day so far so they were my pickups from Bugfest sorry I didn't have mounds and mounds of awesomeness to show you guys but I had really really tight funds for Bugfest and as of the start of next month I will be saving constantly for the BTS I will do as much overtime as needed I'm still not guaranteed to have it off work yet but I'm, I'm sure I will I am sure I will because the BTS guys the biggest, the best of shows in my personal opinion and I can't wait to go and see you folks there. So I'm going to end this video with some snippets and close-ups of all of the things that I purchased at Bugfest and a big, big thank you to Nick for hosting such a wonderful show. Absolutely fantastic. So let's take a closer look at everything I've got. Take care guys, bye bye. So here is my little H Spinifer Scorpling. Cute little guy, my little pumpkin patch sling, can't get a good view of the Brachypalma Amelia but it is that tiny little dot up here and you can just see some legs as well look. Can't really see this one guys I'm afraid, but it is actually burrowed just in here. We'll try and get footage of this one on a later date.